And this is going to be the final start and look here of this Husqvarna model that I've got, HU775BBC, with the 7.75 gross torque engine on it. I just am not using this mower, and this is the time of year to now part with lawn mowers. But it is a nice one. This is a powerhouse engine on here. They don't even make them with this engine anymore. I thought I would keep this. The only thing I don't like about this is the self-propelled is kind of slow for me. Unlike the Toros or even my Snapper, it just kind of drags me across the yard. This one is really slow. This is like a new condition lawnmower. I had really trouble trying to start it when I first got it. But it was a moving sale that moved to a townhouse and they weren't using it anymore. And a little more about the engine here. Seems like I saw the date on here somewhere. There it is. Engine shows a 2013. It is a nice mower, takes up a lot of space. Hate to get rid of it, but I have too many mowers. Kind of has a gator type blade on here, much like what the Toro Recycler does. Overhead valve engine, powerhouse engine. And this came with the rear ga grass catcher and also got a side chute and a manual with it. Let me show you a little bit more about this and we'll give it its last start here. And I've only used this one time since I've had it, so it's just sitting up, may as well be used by someone else. What's nice, it's got the single lever to raise and lower all the wheels here. I'll just do a re-review here of all the wheels on here again. Take a look at the side chute. There's no rust on this whatsoever. Very nice condition. And this is the side chute, and I got a Husqvarna manual with this HU775 BBC. How nice it looks here in the back as well. No rust back here either where the bag sits. And this is the model and serial number of this Husqvarna. And this is the Briggs & Stratton serial number for the engine. And a little more detail here on the engine emissions information. That I showed earlier. And this grass catcher bag had never been used. And it still has a moving sticker on here when they moved. And this Husqvarna has the blade engagement feature. You can start the engine without engaging the blade, and then you just pull this handle back. It engages the blade, and you can release it, keep the engine running if you have to move something in the yard. And this Husqvarna has a throttle for stopping and starting this engine. Got a choke here. You got fast and slow, and then stop, you cut it off. Not many lawnmowers have throttles anymore. And we're going to give it its last start here. I'm going to leave the bag off here because I don't want to get it dirty. Grass clippings. And if I'm showing this video, this Husqvarna will now be gone. So to start this, we just move our throttle. Just do a choke. And we don't have to pull this blade engagement feature yet. And let's see how well it will start today.
Very good. Pull the choke off, we'll let it warm up a little bit. Very nice, quiet engine. Oh, I hate to give this up, but I'm just not using it. I had a Troy built with the same engine on there. And I didn't use that either. Same reason the self-propel was so slow. Alright, we're going to engage the blade. Give it a little gas. Here we go. And engage the auto walk. A little bit slow for me. And I just cut the shard, so you probably won't tell a lot of difference, but it cuts very nice. smooth engine on here. It's one of the last of the really nice Husqvarna's. Great engine on there. They still make great equipment. Very nice lawnmower. 22 inch cut. 